In this video, we will learn about chlorophyll and functioning of stomata in detail. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll are the green pigments present in the leaves. If we observe a cross section of a leaf under a microscope, we can see cells containing green dot like structures. These green dot like structures are called chloroplasts which contain green pigment chlorophyll. On your screen you can see cross section of a leaf. This cross sections show you upper epidermis and lower epidermis. Upper epidermis is covered by a waxy cuticle. Lower epidermis is also covered by a waxy cuticle but it is discontinuous due to the presence of stomata. The tissue present in the leaf is called mesophyll tissue. This mesophyll tissue has two types of cells. The upper pillar like cells is called palisade tissue and loosely arranged cells are called spongy parenchyma. There is a single cell shown to you, a large central vacuole and having many dot like structures which are green in color, they are chloroplasts. On your screen you have the structure of chloroplast. Chloroplast is a double unit membrane bound organelle of the plant cells. Inside the chloroplast we can see stacks of membranous structures. Each such membranous structure is called thylakoid and the complete stack is named as granum. The space between these grana are filled with a stroma which is a fluid like substance. There is an intergranum lamellae which connects these grana together. What are stomata? Stomata are tiny pores present in the leaves through which exchange of gases takes place. Each stoma has a pair of guard cells which controls the opening and closing of the stomatal pore. When water enters the guard cells, it swells and the pore opens. And when the guard cells lose water, it shrinks and the pore closes. This is again the cross section of a leaf where you can see the exchange of gases and uh, transpiration of water taking place through the stomatal opening. This happens by the process of diffusion. The concentration of O2 is higher outside so it will diffuse into the leaf from outside and the CO2 which is produced by the leaf cells get diffused outside. During photosynthesis plant takes CO2 and give out O2 while during respiration plant take O2 and give out CO2. This exchange of gases and transpiration that is loss of water from the leaves in the form of vapors takes place by the help of stomata through the process of diffusion.